is that a chain actually wears. It gradually starts to stretch. And if it stretches too far, it'll start to reshape your actual, the, the gears on your bike. If this happens too much, you end up having to replace your chain, your gears, everything. So it's a great idea in terms of just bike maintenance to keep an eye on that. So the way one does that is at a bike shop, they have this very simple tool which measures uh, how worn the chain is. And what we do at the shop is we just set the, the tool into the chain, and if the tool falls into the chain, it is worn either to 50 or 75%. It's really best never to get to 75, because 75 is where you start having to replace more parts. So when we do have to replace the chain, it'll cost you somewhere between $20 and $60, depending on the configuration of your gears and the type of motor that you have. So next we'll talk about brake pad wear, checking your brake pads at home. Uh, today we're going to look at the Driva Speed, which is easy to check at home. Um, if you have a different type of bike, just come into the shop and we can either check them for you or um, show you how to check them. What you'll need in order to check the brakes on your Driva Speed is a 2.5 millimeter Allen key uh, and your fingers and some decent light. You're gonna go right here to the spot where you can see the end of the brake pads. There's a small safety pin that you remove just with your finger. And then you will take your wrench and you'll loosen this bolt right here. Ready, tighty, lefty, loosen. Bolt will come out and you simply pinch the brake pads to take them out. You want to look at the pads held by the spring. You want to check to make sure that there's about a millimeter of brake pad and that it extends beyond the metal of the spring and the holder. To reinstall the pads, you just do the same steps but in reverse. If you need new pads, they're about $20 to $25 plus installation uh, and that'll keep you and your bike safe on the road.